Hey folks, welcome to Boost Up Station and subscribe for show. Today I will teach you how to fix kernel driver not installed RC negative of 1908 error in VirtualBox in Ubuntu. So let us just begin. So first of all, let me show you the error. When I'm trying to run this virtual machine, it is showing me this error kernel driver not installed as I previously described it. So what we're gonna do is just click on OK, minimize this. First of all, make sure that secure boot is disabled in BIOS settings. All right, then only you should proceed further with the video. Okay. For disabling secure boot, open a BIOS settings of your machine and follow me. Here is a security tab. At last, you will find this option secure boot. Different manufacturers have different settings. So find where your secure boot option lies. All right. Just check in on the internet. And after clicking on that, you will see that secure boot control is enabled. So just click on disabling. And now after clicking on disabled, what you need to do is just go to save and exit and click on save changes and exit and press enter. Now after that, you will see that save configuration and exit option in here. So just click on OK, press enter and restart your PC and run these commands, the last ones into the terminal, drag and drop or either copy and paste them and press enter. Now just type a user password. As they were not installed, that's why that error came. So what we're gonna do is just install them. Now it will download 46 MB of archives from the internet. So make sure you have internet connection. Press Y and type enter. Now it's downloading the files. Successfully downloaded. Now just click here and press enter. Now it's saying that you need to close the virtual box which is running. So close this virtual box from here. File and click on exit. And press enter. It's saying that errors has been occurred. So what we're gonna do is press the up arrow key and type that command again and press enter. Now type Y and press enter. And now you can see at last install has been completed. You should make a note that whenever you update the kernel, run these commands that we just run. This one, remove VirtualBox DKMS and install VirtualBox DKMS. All right. Now let us run the VirtualBox and test whether it's working or not. Now just click on the virtual machine and click on start. And now here you can see that it is working. Okay. Subscribe for sure. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.